Today we're talking about mode mixture, which you can read more about in your textbook in chapter 24. I know you're already familiar with this phenomenon. Let's listen to this example. Yeah, that's right. That's a famous example of a Picardy third. As a, the cadence approaches, it appears we're in D minor, and then we get D major at the end. There's that alternation between minor and major. That's what we're talking about here with mode mixture. Anytime we're talking about mode mixture, we're always talking about the parallel major and minor key. That means the keys have the same tonic note, only the mode differs. And as you know from freshman theory, this means that only three scale degrees are different between the parallel major and the minor. So on top you have an A major scale with C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. On the bottom staff you have the A minor scale with naturals on all of those scale degrees. So those are the scale degrees we're talking about this whole video. Take a moment, pause your video now, and see if you can figure out chords that would be derived from mode mixture. So if you begin in A major, for instance, and you fool around with scale degree 3, and you use scale degree 3 from A minor, what would you get? Take a moment and figure out all of the possibilities involving 3, 6, and 7. Pause your video now. All right, so you've hopefully had a chance to figure out the possibilities. If you deal with lowered scale degree 3, and we'll just assume a major starting point here, lowered scale degree 3 gives you a minor tonic instead of major. A lowered scale degree 6, or a lay instead of la, gives you a minor 4 chord. A diminished 2 chord, a half diminished 2 7, or possibly a fully diminished 7 chord. A lowered scale degree 7, te, it's a little bit more unusual, but it would give you a flat major scale uh, 7 chord instead of a leading tone triad. Sometimes these things are found in combination. A lowered scale degree 3 and a lowered scale degree 7 together would give you a flat major 3 chord. And a lowered scale degree 3 and a lowered scale degree 6 acting together would give you a flat major 6 chord. That's actually an important one, and we'll see an example of it later in this video. Let's take a listen to the first four measures of this art song by Schumann called Ich Grolle Nicht. So doing our jazz chords, we find the harmony is quite simple, C major, F major, D half diminished 7, G7, back to C. So nice, typical tonic predominant dominant tonic phrase progression there. Here are the Roman numerals. 1, 4, 6, arpeggiating down to regular root position 4, continuing to arpeggiate down, 2 half diminished 7, 5, 7, 1. So which of these is the borrowed harmony? Yes, that's right. It's the half diminished 7 chord, the 2 half diminished 7. Note that that's a minor quality chord, right? I mean, it's a, it's a chord that would naturally occur in C minor, even though we're in C major here, right? And how did we get that chord? Well, we borrowed something from C minor. We borrowed lay, or lowered scale degree 6. Notice where in the text setting this special lowered scale degree 6 comes in. On the word Herz, which means heart. And in fact, the whole sentence translates as, I grumble not even though my heart is breaking. So think for a minute about how that lowered scale degree 6, that special inflection, really works with the text here to create a certain pathos. Also notice the voice leading. And once a pitch has been lowered, bear in mind that it wants to continue to go down. Please respect this tendency. Lowered scale degree 6 resolves down. 
Let's take a look at one more example, this from a Brahms Ballade in B major, opus 10, number 4. To do our jazz chords, we find we have G major harmony to start, G sharp minor 7, which continues for two measures before we have finally B major. So the key signature and the title of the piece tell us it's in B major, even though that tonic is a little bit of a long time in the coming. It doesn't really appear until measure four. It kind of is gradually revealed as the first four measures unfold. So the Roman numeral for that first harmony should be flat major six. Then we go back to a diatonic 6 in first inversion, changing to 4-3 inversion in measure 3. So let's talk a little bit about that borrowed chord, flat major 6. Why is there a flat out in front of the Roman numeral? Well, it's because the root is, has been lowered, right? It's not normal scale degree 6 la. We're actually using lay or g as the root. So the flat out in front of the Roman numeral says I've lowered the starting note. I've lowered the root of this chord. It's a capital six because it's a major quality triad, right? This is what results from borrowing lowered scale degree six and lowered scale degree three together. Okay? If you need further clarification about how these Roman numerals are working, please ask me. I'd be happy to elaborate. Otherwise, read your textbook for more. I'll see you soon.